Hey guys, Betrayed here and welcome back to another video. So before I get into this video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We're so close to 1,600 subscribers. But anyways, I want to say that I think I finally found out a name for this uh, series, kind of-ish. Um, the, the Optimally Dumb series. So obviously I'm doing really dumb stuff in the most optimal way. For example, building Horus, if I would have built in Eloise, Eloise, however you say it, I would have been like so much farther farther off and this account would have been so much stronger. But you know, Horus is a fun hero, so it's a good trade-off. Plus, I already have my main account over here, um, which is 223 million, so I mean, this account isn't really nothing to me. It's just so where I could have a bit of fun and spend some money on it. Sure, I could have probably gotten like an A tier in here if I if I took all the money that I would have spent on this that I will spend on this account, put it over there. I could have got I could get a A tier, but do I really care about this game that much? Not really. I'm just trying to have some fun and make content for you guys because that's what I enjoy doing. But anyways, as you can see here, we're level 73. VIP 4 and we have the Horus um, 10 star avatar now you might be wondering Betrayed how do you have this last time like 3 day, 4 days ago now probably he was just the 5 stars and this is a new server so it's like you know you're kind of pretty high up there in terms of power even though I'm all the way down here I haven't really been pushing this. I could probably get higher, especially since I'm in PO, which is like the top guild here. As you can see here, pretty much we dominate the um the higher end spots, and I'm pretty high up there too. But yeah, let's take a look at my heroes. As you can see here as well, I have very little resources because I've been just trying to like progress as much as possible. And yeah, that's uh, quite a few later game resources that I have there. But anyways, this is what I have right now. E2 Horus, this early on, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty good for progress. Um, Pretty good in PvP. Not, not too good against like Garudas and stuff, but that's why I made two carries. They have been helping me a lot with Garudas and, you know... That sorts of stuff. I have like nothing in here. Because I just built Karim. And earlier today I got Horus up to E2 by spending a bit of money. As you can see here. Um, I maxed out the Moonlight event. Which is like 100 bucks to max out. But it gives you a bunch of stuff. Like 20 of these cores. 500k Stellar Shards. Uh, relics. Uh, pig axes, you know, stuff like that. Then also, I got a um, a withered armor for my Horus here. I also got a six star chest, which I upgraded to um, or a six star gear, which I upgraded to a uh, a class gear. This only did one of those. Um, here you also get a bunch of resources, so I, this is where I got a lot of stuff too, like a lot of my stellar shards and the spiritual essences and a few other stuff so I'm actually pretty far in this I already got the I already got this reward which is the one that you get free to play I already got it and now I'm tomorrow I'm gonna get this one and after that I'm gonna get this one which I'm probably just gonna save honestly unless I want to build like an Aspen but I could get his, co his copies pretty easy too here, what is this sky chest? Oh, I hope I could get to this one because I want to start stocking up on my chests just in case I need them. And here, another chest. Hopefully, I can get this one too just in case I want to build some other hero. But yeah, I'm not sure which hero I want to build after him, after Horus. There's a lot of good choices. Horus is like, um, he's a good first E5, he's better than most of them. But, it's weird because 
He doesn't really do that much damage. He's like in a, a, a Luis, but like way worse kind of ish. I don't like Eloise. That's why I didn't build her. But um, yeah, we're gonna need a damage deal after him. So I was thinking maybe Aspen. I kind of want to do Aspen since I'm already have Warrior gear. I don't want to do Garuda because I already fed a bunch of her copies away. I was thinking about maybe doing Flora. Now here we go. She's kind of she's not that good alone because she doesn't she doesn't have sustain. But if I build her early enough, she's going to do a bunch of damage and her CC is going to be really strong. Another option would be Tix. I could easily get his copies. Just buy a bunch of uh, C- minus copies and I could easily get him. Or... That's pretty much it. I don't know who else I would build, honestly. I feel like those are my only options. Probably... I really want to do Horus since I want to also, or not Horus, I want to do Aspen since I can also make him a Transcendence Hero. Um, Volcan, I don't really want to do him. Although he would be a good first Transcendence Hero even though I think I'm going to pick up a lot of, um, what's it called, sublimation along the way so I can also do something better honestly. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what I want to make. Maybe Russell. Russell could be cool. But yeah, I have no idea what I want to make. I already have my E2 Horus though, so I got to make a decision pretty fast. Um, This is my setup on him. So I got block HP. I'm using this block uh, HP uh, artifact right now just to get over 100 block. As you can see here, 114 block. Still doesn't feel like enough, honestly. I got Fiona, I got him. He's just food for now. That's why I didn't upgrade him all the way. Also because I have like no resources. And then he's using my Withered Armor right now because I need the block for now until I can upgrade his stone more and uh, get a few other resources on him. But yeah, it's going pretty good so far. Nothing too great though because hey, I'm also stuck on like these waves right here. I know other people... Uh, did it pretty easily especially since they're like way higher than me yeah I mean I'm kind of up there but I'm not that high up there where am I? I'm at 29 right now obviously with the spenders especially this guy he has like a E2 I'm pretty sure as well at level 59 then all the spenders you could tell they're spenders because of their higher level than me like even I'm VIP 4 and I'm level 73 like I don't know how they did it so fast but yeah let's actually check out we can beat it I do have a really aggressive setup on him kind of more attacky ish enables just so I can do a bunch of damage because that is one thing that he's lacking right now he has a lot of blocks so he could get a bunch of counters off which I really like that about him but I don't know if he's gonna be able to survive because yeah at some point it just gets like too much you know but I like his counters a lot they're really good maybe I had some if I had some CC that could probably do the trick honestly or like if it's like right now where they're not really targeting him too much but then again I kind of want them to target him just so he could get his blocks off because you can see here he's getting a bunch of damage off Ooh, yeah, that was so close. Okay. I'm not sure if it's better for him to get targeted or not to get targeted. But yeah, these ways are kind of what I'm struggling in the most. Once I get over them, it's pretty easy and I could clear a bunch of levels. But yeah, I get stuck on these. I'm pretty sure it's just like a luck thing. I could probably do it if I tried enough times. Okay, if he would have gotten an active off, he could have probably done that. Yeah, so it's really close. But honestly, overall, I'm liking Horus a lot right now. Maybe it's just me saying that because everybody's still, like, really far behind me. Or, like, not everybody, but most people, the average player is really far behind me right now because obviously I spend money. This event is really good to spend money on as well. 
you get a ton of rewards for spending money. Let me actually just try to skip. Over. Oh, we didn't. There you go. And now we can do a few levels. I also get stuck on these ones. Any wave that has like a bunch of uh, dot is killing me right now. What are we on? 418. Okay, I'm 26 now. I passed a few players. I'm trying to get like up here at least top 10 soon. So I kind of, I think I want to go with Tixes now after I'm done with this. I just, I'm just glad that I have like a bunch of cores and stellar shards already kind of saved up for when I do unlock the board campaign. Because I am going to unlock it before most people do, a bunch of people actually. I'm also getting like two more, um, two more nine star puppets soon. So I could kind of start building uh my food already and then like karim obviously i'm gonna get copies really easily so i built him and then you know i could just make him 10 star and then easily get his copy too if i need copies they're like five dollars each in the um auction house once i do unlock it and you know it's gonna be really easy Honestly, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're like five dollars each, but I want to get a B minus copy for him. That's one thing. That's like twenty dollars, ten dollars. I'm pretty sure it's like ten dollars because you get two forty for ten dollars, two forty star gems, and uh, one of, I saw one for like two sixteen gems, so that'll be really easy. But yeah, you guys should let me know what you guys want to see on this account. I really want to do a ticks. That's kind of what I want to do. So my plan was build Horus, then Tix, and then swap Horus for another Tix uh, once I get another hero that I can uh, use and then have like two Tixes on my account. That will help me clear Aspen Dungeon way faster if my Transcendence Hero doesn't do it, which my Transcendence Hero will have no problem clearing it, at least until we hit Purgatory. And then... Two Tixes will just help out a ton, honestly, in a bunch of different game modes. And they could become food later down the line. I don't know which Transcendence here I want to do yet. Probably I'm just going to go with Vesa. So after I'm done with Tix, I'm probably going to go for a Rogan. And then a... Oops. And then I'm going to go with a Flora. And then probably an Ignis. And then, and then I'll figure out what I'll, I'll do next. Probably not going to have enough stuff. And going to make a 10 star. The other two 10 star attendants for Vesa. And try to get a. Hmm, I shouldn't get a jar first. I'll get a Freya next. So I'll get a Freya and then I'll get a Jara. Just for my fairy queen vest, I know that's not the optimal way or whatever, but I don't really care. That's going to be my way. So yeah, there's been a lot of progress done on this account. Also, I want to show you my guild tech because I have gotten pre a pretty good amount of guild coins so far. Okay, here's my guild tech. I've been just kind of like upgrading this. I think I want to go for yeah block and then max this out before I max out these. Or maybe I'll do that right after I max out this one. But yeah, I've gotten a lot of resources, so I got in these two. Then I'm going to get this one, which just boosts its attack and um, HP. I should probably do this one first, before this one. Because it's just warrior skill damage, whatever, warrior speed. Yeah. And then I'll work on these after. Probably mage. Mage would be the best, smarter... Um, what's it called? Picks, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty much it because I've already wasted all my stuff. I'm so close to VIP 5 2. What is that like? Um, $10, 11 that's $14. 
I could pretty much reach it right now if I really wanted to, but the benefits aren't that much more, just uh, magic source. 30 hero slots, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Actually, no, I think that's just like the general benefits. Hand of Might is giving me a little bit more. Um, extra gems after gem purchase, auto battle plus 12. Oh, what that? Oh, I hope it's like 24 hours for everybody free to play. But yeah, that's, I guess that's it. I don't know, I'm just waiting right now to level up as well, because I'm really far behind on this. Like, I'm still in this one, chapter 25. Sure, I'm pretty sure after this one I could also buy 9 star. Yeah, I could buy a 9 star after this. I probably should have made Garuda 10 star, honestly. And then used her as food, and then I could have used this. Yeah, I'm pretty dumb for that, but... I could, uh, I could also made my faceless a 10 star, and then, yeah, but I'm optimally dumb, so, yeah, whatever. I'm still ahead of the game, so, for now I'm good. Anyways, tomorrow I'm going to do a account review, and then the next day after that, I'll probably make another video on this, updating you guys on this, since I will have more resources by then. And then, I'm going to do another account review, which is going to be really big, so make sure you stay tuned for that. That guy has a like two, two A tiers at least, and then a crazy account. Just a little spoiler for you guys. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, if you did make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to drop a comment down below. I'm really enjoying the series so far, even though it's only episode two. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.